of the my chemical yeah. adventure. Yeah, probably. Okay, so that is whoops. That says the chat thing need to work. There it goes. And then, so that was a bit of a flub. Uh, okay, wait, do we have sound? We have sound. All right. And squish some stuff. Well, it's 10. All right. Hello and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And we are back again with, uh, well, the big project that's on my board at the moment. Is that... Yeah, I have a hard time because yeah, the other one was the big project and I have a hard time calling this the big project or a big project because it's so much smaller, but eh, it's still pretty big, I guess. So anyways, a lot of progress has been made. Um, last week we were kind of looking at being maybe halfway along and um, I just was checking this out. So the the row, the, I'm working on like two rows at once um kind of like i was doing last time right well i kind of off to the side over here let's do this off to the side here can i move my camera there i went ahead and and got a little bit done and um what i came to find out is in those next two squares i end up at the two-thirds point so this is an 18 inch square to make a pillow and um that basically puts me at two-thirds which um when i bought the string for this it's um i kind of gave myself room to be able to change it twice so over so like have the first initial ones change up the th thread and then change again so anytime after that two-thirds point i can change up the thread and it'll get me to the end so that's perfect and yeah it, it's kind of okay so the regular bracelet size i don't know what i did with a small bracelet but it's 24 of those so if you can do a you know double wide or whatever if you can take a regular single little bracelet this would be 12 strands um and then you double it then you have 24 strands this would be doing it i think it's 24 times i think hang on I got notes. Uh, yeah, 24 bracelets. 24 bracelets wide is, is what this is. So that makes 18 inches. Mind you, if I were using DMC floss, which I have nothing against DMC floss other than maybe the price, um, if I was using DMC floss in order to get to the same width, instead of being 24, it would probably be 28 to 30 bracelets because dmc floss is smaller so yeah that's really a thing um let's see before we go too far chatting can win you cool prizes wait why is my buttons didn't want to work there it goes so yeah um say the the magic word the secret word there and you get to win cool bracelets so um, one of them is actually by Minute Craft, and the other one was made by me. So, yeah, that's something that's happening. Kind of cool. Um, yeah, I have to forgive me. I'm, I'm seriously, I'm a bit out of it today. Um, for no given reason, my brain kicked on at like seven o'clock this morning after about four and a half hours of sleep, and was just like, "Let's do stuff," and. Uh, so yeah, four and a half hours of sleep is starting to take its toll. But yeah. Hmm. 
and rainbows here. We got chemical romances here. And is it Tinny? That's cool. Hello, everybody. Um, so yeah, like I'm saying, if I'm if I seem a little bit out of it or whatever, it's got. Is it working now? Oh, I think I found the problem. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys. That was really, really weird. Okay. Can everybody hear me now? I'm really sorry about that. Okay. That was really weird. Okay, I think it had something to do with the subscribe thing. Um, we have a new subscribe whatever thing that uh, I put in, and for some reason I must have programmed it wrong or something. Let's try it. See if this works. Okay, so that, that was it. Ah, give me a freaking heart attack here. Went into complete panic mode, which kind of helped wake woke me up. So that's a plus. Anyways, um, besides the chance to winning a bracelet, what else? Um, we're nearing the two third mark, which means I will have to replace string soon. And I was saying that one of these strings is a little bit shorter than all the rest, and it's kind of bothering me because it shouldn't be like that but whatever it's, i suspect it's just the my supplier might be getting from different manufacturers or something because this this color right here which is the fourth one is just a little bit thinner than the others i have to like kind of compensate when i make my knots so is my floss perfect no but is considerably less expensive than the uh, DMC stuff, so yay. Um, I'm seem to fall behind on what was going on in the chat. So wait. Are the words bracelet related? Am I talking about bracelet stuff? 
Is that what's the question? Oh, the secret word is a price. Or, it's it's me related. The secret word is related to me or my channel. As all the previous ones were, it's just an interesting talking point. When you finally get the actual word, um, it'll give me a chance to talk about something that's you know very me. Yes, it's not it's not random ish. Well, it's a little random. So. Now, this is getting kind of exciting here. This is. I kind of can feel like a, you know I'm I'm there's light at the end of the tunnel. The adding string last time took me like three different rows to to do it in, and it seemed to have taken a while. But now that I see that I only have to do that one more time, um, it's kind of giving me a kind of a new renewed sense of you know excitement towards getting this thing finished. Um, it's not really kid related. Now, I like, I like your, your rationality, your, your thought process here is pretty sound. Let's see. So the first time around the word was Rapunzel, which is basically the word I describe all the bags that I make. Um, because the first one I put, uh, kind of around my head and it made it look like I had ridiculously long hair and, uh, yeah, we had a big laugh over that. Um, so yeah, if you go into my website and you look look in the pro or uh, the portfolio, or even the shop, and you look up Rapunzel, you'll get the bags. And then the next one was what was the second one? Caffeinated. Oh, second one was caffeinated, which um really surprised me that one didn't take very long to, for somebody to figure it out like they were like yeah it just regular content i was drinking coffee and they were like oh you're highly caffeinated i was like wow that was that was random and then the third one huh? oh the third one was pink which is basically the very first video i had done I did a stop motion video of the of a bracelet just to do it and it was just entitled pink bracelet and unlike most of my videos which have like a few hundred views pink bracelet has like 160,000 views which is absolutely insane um but yeah that was the whole thing that was yeah pink was the third one Yeah. So they were all been related to the channel in some kind of way. This one is no exception. After this one, I have no idea what I'm going to do because I've run out of ideas. I'm completely dense like that. On the plus side, I suppose, they have, it's not like I've been having a winner every week. So it's, it has kind of stretched it out a little bit. But yeah. So you can see, like, once I get the the whole box done at this level, that's when I can go to this the level above it. Now, when I go to the level above it, I can't, I won't have enough room to close off the box. But all of the string, all the knots that I have that are like say going to the left like this, it's as far as it needs to go. So that's perfect, and. It allows me to kind of stay in one area at a time. So kind of concentrating my segment knotting to um, to doing two rows instead of just one. And it 
in some ways, I really honestly believe that it kind of speeds things along. It's it's sort of a alphas. Okay, so kind of no, but. I made so I made two things that are sort of alpha. I made this, which is a case for uh, a light set that I have. It's um, the Atari guys, and what I did was I ran all one color going to the left and all one color going to the right, and any given point you can change it out which kind of make gives it that whole binary whatever 8-bit graphic kind of look so that was that and they did an alpha bag just to see whether or not it was possible and um yeah it totally turned out pretty cool but typically no i don't do alphas um it feels kind of to me like cheating it feels like um it's so easy to put a, a color anywhere you want it kind of thing. And I like trying to work out pretty patterns, you know, just based on like how the knots go. It's, it's just a personal preference. I'm not, I don't dismiss other people who do al the alphas. In fact, I'm wearing um, my new crafts bracelet. It's going to be upside down for you guys, but it's, it, it says AKA a wall. I wear it. And uh, absolutely love the damn thing. So, yeah. Um, but I just don't do it personally. It's, just don't. So yeah, I can't believe it's... Oh, I should do this button. Hang on, let's do this one. Patreon supporters. Um, we're going to have the Patreon hangout tomorrow night. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, thank you again for, to all my Patreon supporters who make doing these videos and big projects and stuff possible. It's, it also helps keep my website going, which um, akawall.com has like a lot of like additional information towards some of the tutorials I've done. It's just a, it's a nice way of being able to store some of the photos and things as well. So there's that. But um, tomorrow Mandy and I have a wedding dinner to attend. So um, we're going to try to be back here by 10, but we, if we're a little bit late, please forgive me in advance because um it is what it is, trying to do it. Yeah, elephants are cool because you can make pictures and you can use um, the um, cross-stitch programs and stuff to generate the pictures. You can, re on some of the cross-stitch generators, you can tell it the number of colors you actually want to use and it'll work that out for you. So yeah, no, I, I get that the alphas are cool like that. That's, it's a neat, prospect um it's just it hasn't been something that you know i really wanted to spend a lot of time at doing so yeah i, I like i said i totally i totally get the draw to it I, I it is a neat way of being able to accomplish something but yeah i don't think it's gonna go that late to be honest i mean I don't know. It's my wife's nephew, and I think it'd be kind of cool to be there, but I'm really honestly hoping to leave there earlier. I don't get along with the uncle, so if there's any possible way to run away, um, I'm going to, uh, yeah, even if it's just, it's just to say, hey, look, you know, I have Patreon supporters, and it's the first Sunday, so sorry. So yeah, I make a, I've made a number of patterns myself, and um, yeah, I mean, 
I haven't like actually put any of my patterns into either of the two websites. Um, but yeah, a lot of the stuff that I make is my own. Well, everything is, I don't typically use any of their patterns. Um, like this, I know is a relatively simple one. I'm sure there's a pattern for it somewhere. It's, um, dovetail is what everybody likes to call it. Um, but yeah, like I, I don't have a whole lot of like my examples right around me. If you go into akawall.com and then go to the portfolio, you can kind of take a look at, at a wide range of number of bracelets I've done. Mind you, hanging on the door over here, I have a pile of bracelets I never bothered to actually photograph. And they have been the like the bracelets I've been pulling out here lately to do for giveaways and stuff because if I haven't taken a picture of it it's not in the shop if it's not in the shop then i don't have to worry about like finding which one it is and removing it from the shop and going through all the extra hoops involved so yeah it's the portfolio thing didn't really get as many things that i've really made like so don't don't think oh well, this guy's only made you know 500 bracelets it's been a lot lot more um yeah, I don't use bracelet book or um, friendshipbracelet.net. I use, um, in if you go into akwall.com, you um, you can do a search in within the site, look up graph paper, and you will find a graph paper that I made specifically for bracelets because. Um, like regular graph paper, you can fill in little squares, right? But the problem when you fill in a square and let's say you're trying to design something is you can't see the string that's going on underneath it. So I created a special graph paper that actually shows you like what the two colors are that are coming into the knot and then you choose your knot and then you choose which side you want the other, those colors to actually travel to. And by doing it that way, I can work out any pattern that I've seen on, on Instagram or um, Facebook. Anybody that shares a, a bracelet, I can pretty much sort it out and um, do it myself. Because, well, because just by doing a few patterns on that paper itself has led to where um, I can kind of understand like how or why certain people have made designs a certain way. It's kind of neat. It, it's yeah. And it is, it's, it's a, it's really for a normal pattern kind of thing. It's sort of like that. Right. Well, okay. So I use GIMP, which I can, I can remove a whole color at a time kind of thing. If I use the right tools or, you know, I can do a, I've kind of gotten used to it to the point where um, I don't have a lot of trouble with generating it or whatever. So, yeah. And the neat thing too is, is if you, if you already have made a bracelet that you know, like, oh, this is a really nice length. So then you take the at and you kind of half heartedly put in some of that information into the graph paper, right? Just enough so that way you can figure out where the beginning and end is, right? So now you get the beginning and end. Then from there, you can determine exactly where the middle is. Right. So now that you've got where the middle is, you can work out in the graph paper any of the patterns. Let's say you, you see something you like in, in bracelet book. Right. You can take the, the here. Let me grab a bracelet. So here, in this bracelet, this interesting shape is kind of the star of the show, right? Um, and I had room to be able to do three of them, but not 
five of them. So I worked out where the center was. I put the thing that I wanted into the middle, worked out the, how much was room was left and used up what little bit of room was left on the whole bracelet. And I was able to use that same kind of design with a number of colors and a number like this time I changed up to how the middle was instead of having the one cool pattern be in the middle. I made it a little bit different, but it turns it out to being completely symmetrical. The thing that you don't get out of bracelet book is you might have this much of the pattern, but when you go to repeat it or something, maybe it only ends up like that far. So, you know, now it's not really symmetrical. I can work out exactly what the because all these are exactly the same length there's the same number of knots in these because i worked out one and then played around with it and did others um and that's that's kind of what i like about doing it um the way that i do it is that if if i see a design or a pattern that i like is because like this this center thing here this design or whatever i saw something like that on instagram and i'm like okay i want to i want to use that but what can i else can i do with it let's say if i want to put that as a center gem thing and then i just kind of run with it and that's how my bracelets have a certain kind of symmetry that that i i notice that other people don't necessarily have it's not that you have to all right like i didn't have to go and sort it all out like that and find where the middle was and put it it's it's just a little added thing that i do you know it's just a thing that makes at the end of it makes me feel um a little bit more accomplished about the the project itself um i i don't want to offend people i guess is what, i don't want to tell people you know like you're doing it wrong you're not getting them symmetrical it doesn't other people's bracelets are nice, even when they're not symmetrical. It's just a personal goal for me to have things done a certain kind of way. It's, you know, that's why I kind of have a hard time. Like if you go back and you watch like my beginner's bracelets and things like that, if you watch that kind of stuff, you'll see me allude to how to do things but I don't say first step, we do this second step. We do this. It's n I don't like teaching that way because I feel like it's, there's too many other people out there saying you have to do it a certain way. And if you only know how to follow those kind of instructions, you're not going to learn how to make up your own patterns and your own designs and your own stuff. No, I should have. I still have sound. I still have sound. The purple way. Yeah, the purple one's nice too. Yep. So yeah, um, so yeah, basically most of my, my tutorials are about teaching you the method on how to do a project as opposed to a step-by-step -step on a project. You know, it's, a, it's about teaching you guys the theories on how to make any of this stuff kind of possible. Like, like this, for example, I took that one of the easiest patterns there is the dovetail, which pretty much everybody is done at some point because it's only left and right knots. It doesn't, it's one of the more easier designs to actually mimic. So by just increasing its size, I've made it ridiculously more interesting to look at without um, making it too difficult. The only thing that is a little bit more difficult and I, I have to kind of keep track of is these two rows right here. Um, I flipped those ones upside down. And if you see, like I just shared a post over on Facebook about it, when this is really panned back, it really does this thing where it's difficult with, for your eyes to focus on just how wide that change is. It, it kind of, 
at moments appears that it's it's way wider than it really is and um the fact that your the brain does that just absolutely fascinates me like there's there's something about patterns and how they work and how they can tease the mind a bit and um yeah i i, I wanted to kind of give it like a an interesting designer thing i tried to figure like if tommy hilfinger or somebody was doing a, a simple pattern like this what would they do to to make it a little bit more interesting and i thought this would be interesting and um yeah it's it's not as obvious as i thought it was going to be but it also makes for really cool special effects so yeah Oh, Helene is here. Hello. Wow. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this one is is definitely um it's really coming along. I'm really really happy with how far it's gotten and I kind of feel like you know, it won't be too much longer. But yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Things things keep coming up to, to delay. You know, every time I think, oh, I'll only be this min this long, and then something happens. So yeah. But like I was saying, this is this is a really simple pattern. Each color makes a box and then the next one down cycles to the next color to make the box and inside it just sort of does this chevron thing within the box so it's it really is so, a pattern that you don't even have to look at the paper to do it, it's really that easy So I do run out of string, but then I, I, I've planned for that. I actually, um, was it, was it last week's video is replacing string? I think last week, no week before last, I don't know. One of the previous videos, I was just adding string. I will probably be adding string next week. I think maybe, I don't know. Depends on how distracted i get this week i got to be able to finish out this row here which there's can i shift this down there's that much more to go on this row and then the whole row below it is two things and then i'll be replacing string again so because i double up my string i can easily replace string as i go um <laughs> you should see my big project if you want to talk about replacing strings um, I recently did a project that was 866 strings wide, which turned was 1.6 meters and then 0.6 meters down. I used 877 skeins of embroidery floss. So yeah, um, I, ha I have run out of string. I just happen to know how to replace it. And I teach it, you know, because... Why wouldn't I? Oh, and not only can I replace string, but I had no problem putting my work into the washing machine after I was done, knowing that the way that I change up the strings is so secure that it can even handle going through a washing machine. So, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, is the thing not running? I see the bot doing other things. The shopping stuff is it Oops. 
I'm still over here, guys. Give me a second. I have refreshed the eight ball. I don't know if that's going to work. That's making me insane, though. Ah, it's back. Yeah. <laughs> the bot whisperer that's awesome see i'm kind of hoping that i don't have to change all the strings up at the same time that's one of the the things going into this project that I knew was potentially a problem because a pattern like this uses the strings very, very evenly. Um, changing them up can happen all at once. Mind you, um, like I said earlier, I, may, I have gone down far enough as to get to the two thirds point, which is um, because there's enough string to be able to actually um, you know, do this first piece, do the second piece, and then do the third. Once I get to there, I could change up immediately if I needed to. But there seems to be enough that I might be able to actually do a few more little rounds just to be on the safe side. So kind of going to play a little bit by ear. Um, we'll see how that goes. I didn't know you could make the little thinky things inside the chat. That's so cool. The the emoji for the thinky thing? The what do you call that? The little wheel of thought? I would uh I would use that a lot more often we could like when you were trying to hit me up for information for the, the Patreon newsletter, I was like, uh, <laughs> I would have used that same little, because that, that's, that's a definite how my thinking goes. Anyways, guys, um, did the music ever start playing? I don't care about my speed. Cool, let me get some. I thought I'd turn that on earlier, but it's either it crashed or uh, didn't work. Loading wheel, yes. Oh, so what I was saying, yeah, for the hangouts to tomorrow, if I'm not back here at 10, just, um, and you're trying to get in, 
WhatsApp me because I know that all of you guys have re at least received my business card. Just hit me up with a WhatsApp or, or just come back in 10 minutes or something. I really do try plan to try to be here on time, but I am a little bit worried about maybe being late, so. Yeah, but it stopped completely. Like it stopped like is it Yeah, I don't know. It should have come back when the sound came back. That's so weird. It was like the whole thing like crashed. But then again, mind you too, I went into complete panic mode, so God knows what I did. No worries. Oh, and happy Canadian Day. Is it today or yesterday? I always, I always get that one mixed up but yeah I wonder if I could do the hangout from on a mobile device uh, right yeah but it wouldn't be I'd have a hard time getting logged in as that account on my mobile device because to be able to take the, the the lead spot being able to allow people in <laughs> yeah it's just the wedding dinner they had the wedding last month so that was pretty cool so it was yesterday right yeah well happy happy canadian day there lena i couldn't remember i knew that um because i am from detroit when the they would do the fireworks and stuff um they would sometimes split the difference so you know the second or the third depending on which day of the week it was they'd have the fireworks down on the uh, detroit river so that way over in windsor was celebrating along with the u.s so like minecraft that's awesome i suddenly tried to picture her bracelets done in blocks like gosh. Yeah, I'm trying to imagine what a Minecraft bracelet would look like. Yeah, it just. Ah. Uh... Make 
Enderman designs and the stuff. Well, it's got like eight bit stuff, right? So you you could kind of mimic some of the the things in there. Yeah. But you'd be surprised, like, the number of times that I've thought, you know, wouldn't it be interesting to, and then playing around with the string for a little bit, you know, it doesn't come out maybe how that first thought was, but then suddenly you hit strike on something and you're like, you know what, that might not be so bad. I mean, that's kind of how doing the this one, you know, I didn't really want to do an alpha but I kind of like the whole um, Atari idea. And it turns out that you can actually, you know, like I got high score written right in it. Um, and the high score is like all nines um, without actually having to do an alpha pattern at all, you know? So it, sometimes it just starts off like a, a silly idea that you, it's not gonna work, however, and then it does work, you know? differently but it still comes out being cool Nice having a little bit of music to work to. So what do you guys, do you guys typically like watch videos while you're bracelet making? Do you guys listen to music? What's your, what's your way to be able to keep going, keep motivating? <laughs> What up, Phil? Cool. Yeah, I, I on occasions turn on the music and just let the 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 whole rhythm and whatever give me uh, something to work to. That's that's one of my more common ones. The last couple of days I've been watching movies, ones that I've already seen before, so then I, I'm less inclined to have to look up at the screen so much. Ebook seems like a really good thing. I've considered that. I should find out if the library has them or something. Cuz I don't I don't really need to pay all that money to buy a book that I'm going to listen to one time or, you know. Yeah, I'll have to check that out then.
I'm not sure if I, like who I would want to listen to if there's a podcast. You know what I mean? Like it would have to be somebody that kind of was really interesting to me. That's where I think the audio book kind of makes sense. You can find a, a author and, and topic or whatever that you want to pursue. But I don't know anybody that's doing podcasts that makes me go, hey, I want to hear what that person has to say about stuff. I, I'm sure there might be, you know, some that would be really good or whatever, but I just don't know them. So, yeah. So I've been making bracelets, bracelets um, since 1987. I was uh, taught. Is it Labor Day or Memorial Day? I always get the Labor Day and Memorial Day confused the one in the fall in 87 i was taught how to make um the chevrons not chevrons excuse me i learned how to do the, the candy stripe i taught myself how to do chevrons uh maybe about a month later so yeah right Yeah, I'm certain, I don't know about dark stuff being my thing. Um, anything that kind of gets the, I don't know, starts to get too scary or too whatever, I, my, I don't do well. I don't, I don't, when I was young, I, you know, the, the whole um, Freddy Krueger and all that kind of stuff, but not anymore. I'm not, I don't like scary. I don't like too much suspense. Got old and lame. Yeah, my new craft, I, I don't know what uh, English hist history and literature would be like. It sounds it sounds to me like more like something that would help put me to sleep than to, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's do another reminder just for fun. So, secret word game, guys. I just... Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. You guys hit the word, the robot does a little celebration thing. It gets... Everybody gets happy. Oh, and we still have Mandy Cam. Say hello. There she is. She's over there. Oh. Put you back in frame. We, when I was chucking the big pile of bracelets around, I bumped her camera. So put them up, up well out of the way. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't think I need want to hear, and especially if you have like a sound effect apartment, right? Can you imagine like gory podcasts where they're like, like, no.
Yeah, we have a Mandy Cam. It's been a couple of weeks now. We the first week, it was kind of rather limited because um, I had to mouse over to a different application to actually control the secondary camera. But now we kind of got it on point where I can just I can toggle her away and I can toggle her back. Yeah, you should have seen it. We were at the store and I found a camera at a pretty reasonable price. And I'm like, yeah. She's like, no. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> now, and if you haven't figured out, the lovely blue background behind her actually is the airplane trolley, which is completely filled with floss and cards and string holders and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, we tried doing audio, but because, like, that's how close she is, right? I could just lean over and my fingers on her camera. Yeah, because we're actually within the same room, as soon as I turn on the mic to that camera, the audio goes right to hell in the handbasket. The only way to make this actually work. Yeah, you come up. Um, the only way to actually make it work is if I could somehow manage to remote the camera out of, uh, you know, a separate bedroom or something. Like, it's the only way it would work. I got poked it. Right in the cheek. Oh, Five Nights at Freddy. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a pretty... Like, for a kid, that's... Gotta be semi-terrifying. Maybe, but you'd actually, if you're going to do directional sound mics, you'd probably also have to have some kind of noise cancellation feature. So that way you were only taking from like a certain space and everything else was canceled. Because like the mic I'm currently using is not a condenser mic. If it were, you would be able to hear the fan and the air conditioner that are running. Um, so in order to have this kind of quality and not be able to pick up on all the other background sounds it's uh yeah there was a lot of consideration went into like the the products that were bought for this <laughs> yeah, I think I think Phil nailed it because the bot really is not working well. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious.
Uh, I was going to say something to the effect that my wife is paid in inflation, but I... Oh, and this is why we have a Mandy Cam, kids. Yeah, this is this tends to be what happens um, when I have a lack of sleep. My my humor goes right to hell, and um, yeah, yeah. Ow! So yeah, I've been actually kind of surprised at like how much I've gotten done here recently. And um, yeah, tomorrow I probably won't have like a whole lot of time to work on this. Um, but yeah, during the week, I, I'm going to put aside a lot of time and just put on something, movies or otherwise, and see what I can get accomplished. <laughs> Yeah. This is about as close as OnlyFans I'm going to get. Is my fans coming all around to see what kind of bracelet I'm working on because ain't nobody trying to see anything else. Although I did have, I did have one follower there telling me, like, "Oh, you have such nice hands." I got really kind of freaked out by that. Like, oh, okay, skedaddle there, uh, minute. Have a good night. I think we're not going to last here much, much later. My brain is definitely uh, not quite with it. Like I said, at four and a half hours sleep, I am absolutely dying here. So. There's not a, not enough caffeine to keep my brain afloat. was that my computer started making funny noises at me yeah I don't remember who it was but yeah I was uh, I was like okay <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say to people when they say that. Ah, uh, yeah. Working those kind of weird hours is hard on anybody. I, I, I do not envy you, Helena. That's not fun.
Ooh, you've had to completely turn your whole life around. That's not good. I have tried to learn crochet, but cannot do it very well at all because I have a problem with the tension being too tight. Knitting, I'm actually fairly good at, although the only things I've ever made were scarves, but I've done scarves that had the, um, what do they call, what do they call that, um, cable, where it looks like a, uh, like a rope going through it and stuff. So I've done some pretty, pretty fancy kind of knitting stuffs, but. So Mandy's tablet just died and she's trying to get her phone going and somehow or another managed to get the volume to uh, freak me out. So if she, that look of panic on her face and the odd look on my face it was because my voice started coming from the other side of the room. And that gets very confusing to a guy who has a lot of sleep. Uh but yeah, I, I would love to learn how to crochet because um, like the bags and stuff that I've seen that are crocheted would be something I'd be really interested in learning how to do. Um, I used to do knitting a lot back when I was, again, back when I was in Detroit, when we had winters. When it's cold and stuff, you can have a whole big pile of yarn sitting on your lap and you'll be happy about it. But now that I live in Singapore, it's never cold enough to actually want to do any knitting. So like that's, that's no fun. And yeah, that's, that's a good thing too. Like I, I right now have, um, at least two more, uh, projects at least of this size that are in the near future for myself. And then beyond that, I'm, I'm actually working out ideas for things that would make an interesting tutorial. Um, plus I'm doing Patreon things and trying to figure out what is the, the kind of stuff that I should have for over there. And yeah, it's, Spooky? I'm scared. Yes, I'm spooked by periods as well.
That's unfortunate that you were bullied and had to take a different shift just to avoid that. That's that's not nice. Well, that's good. Thank you. I like having people wanting to come and hang out with us and be have fun. I don't have my calendar in front of me. We're... The 23rd we're missing, right? Right? Yeah, so the 23rd, we, so 9th, 16th. So yeah, we'll be back here again on the 9th and the 16th and the 23rd, I will be out of town, so. Pray for me. First time actually being out of town in a couple of years now. So yeah, kind of crazy. Depends on what kind of SIM cards we get, right? Now we could do SIM cards. We just get something with like a 5 gig or 10 gig base on it. They've been in a hotel room with up. Most Wi Fi's in hotels suck. Yeah, well, it, okay. So, tentatively, we're not planning on doing a live stream on the 23rd. That said, depending on bandwidth and whatever allows, maybe we will do a thing because I am bringing string with me. Um, as many of you guys know that because of the whole ADHD thing and stuff, I do find tying knots very relaxing to my mind. And even when I'm on a holiday and stuff, I still like to tie knots. And um, it won't be a big project or anything. I'll just bring along some bracelets and um, nothing too crazy, whatever. But yeah, it'll be fun um, to bring it along and uh, we'll see what happens. If I can get enough signal down to the beach, we may have our first live stream from a beach, which could, well, I don't know, lighting would be an issue, I guess. Maybe it'll be at the hotel room. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to Thailand next, this month, a little later this month. So yeah. If I can't do a live stream, if this, if I, you know, I'll kind of test the, the bandwidths and stuff, see how it goes. If it's not that, maybe I'll do a short video. And then that'll, if I do that, it's likely the video would come out on a Friday.
<laughs> so Helena, is it your day off? Is that how you're able to catch us for a change? Serbia. Where's Serbia? Seems like I would know that one, but I don't. That's really cool. Hey, extra days for, for national stuff. That's always fun. Novak is is number one, but just so everybody remembers, love means nothing to a tennis player. Only real tennis people will get that joke, but obviously my wife gets it. See the rolling eyes? Yes, for the eye rolls. Have you not heard when they're playing tennis and they'll say it's 15 love? Because love means nothing, literally. It means nothing in the tennis game. Yes. Dragovic is is an amazing player. He's definitely fun to watch. He's he's a pretty cool headed kind of guy. I'm not a huge tennis fan myself, but I do enjoy watching a few games with my wife.
My joke was lobbed over her head. Yeah. Uh, while I'm over here making a racket. Match point. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, I am I am seriously. I'm going to start making mistakes if I don't quit. So before I go, I want to thank my Patreon supporters for making all of this stuff uh, possible. And um, I will be back next week, hopefully with enough done that I'm actually going to start adding string again. We'll see how that goes, though. Don't want to get my hopes too far up and then, you know, things not go through. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I'll be back again next week. And... Um, Anything else special going on? Do we have anything? Any news? Any... Oh, tomorrow. Yep, got the uh, Patreon hangout. So, guys, I do everything in my power to be here on time, but uh, bear, please bear with me if I'm a little bit late. All right? So, until next time, don't get your strings in a bunch. <laughs>